What is going on guys, it's Jars here, bringing you guys a brand new Black Ops video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my signature Jars Envy Red Tiger Camo. Uh, this camo was I think called the Blood something from Black Ops 2, I don't really know. But I decided to make it in this game and no one runs this, like this is one of a kind bro, like no one uses this. If anyone uses this combination of Red Hex and this like pattern thing, it's from me. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, let's uh... Show you guys what you guys are gonna need is red hex, obviously. So pretty much, red hex is normal. And then when you don't have that, paint job doesn't look that good without it. So you're gonna need it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the patterns and all that. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, telling me to do this video because they want this camo and stuff. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So pretty much, just have red hex and have access to the paint shop. Um, some people don't have access to paint shop because they get banned from it. I don't know how that happens, but I heard a few people that got banned from it. So, all right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to M8. Um, I think I have another slot, right? So we have one more slot. So let's open this shit up. I've never done a video like this, but I say fuck it because you guys are asking for it, man. I'm streaming every day. You guys are saying to make a tutorial, so. Fuck it. I'm gonna make a tutorial. So just find the red that works for you. I'm pretty sure it's uh this red that matches the red hex perfectly. So we'll put that on. Um what pattern did I use? I think it's this one right here. Um, let me see. I haven't made that camel in a minute. I made that shit so quick too, it was so random. I think it's this one right here. So you're gonna wanna have this one and then make another one and put it in black. So it's black and white, and then yeah, so you just kind of just spread it out around the gun, like kind of cool. I don't look, just make it look cool. You know what I mean? Don't have it too like, don't have it too big or too small, like a medium size, and try to put one under another, like that. Um, I forget if I have black on top of white or white on top of black, but we'll see at the end. Actually, fuck it. So we can just keep going like that. Or what you can do is keep doing this, just copy and paste, put it around the gun and shit. Make sure it looks, try to make it look neat. I, I don't really have like a, a pattern for it. I'll show you guys after uh, my other one that looks good. But yeah, see, it's starting to make the form of that, uh, the Blood Tiger, whatever you call it from Black Ops 2. So you can make this one, like at the end of the gun, the right side of the gun, you can make it a little bit bigger. So you can do that. Copy and paste. Do that. Have this under the black. I guess. Don't try to like. Don't try to like. I'll show you in a second. Hold up. So you don't want it to. You need to like spin it in circles and stuff. You don't want one on top of another at the same angle. So say if I take this black one and I put it here like that. I don't want a white one on top of it. You know what I mean? Just like take a white one. Put it next. Don't put it like the same angle. Like spin it around so it looks different. And then put it behind it like that. Um, what I did with my other one, I made like a white one really big at the end of the gun. I just thought that looked cool. So then you take a black. Put it like at right here. And then you need more black a little bit on the top. Try to fill out the gun. Put it like that. And I think that looks pretty good to be honest. That looks... Not as good as this one, I think, but they're pretty much the same shit, you know what I mean? Just get the pattern flowing, um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, put this one on, and that's it right there, friends. And then also, if the red kind of looks off to you, uh, like right here, you need a darker red, but light red doesn't look that bad either. Um, actually, I might have made a better one, who knows? Like that. Yeah, so, it, it does look cool with more white, actually, so I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but... That's it right there, guys. So, yes, yeah, pretty much it. Let me show you the pattern one more time. So, the pattern is pretty much this thing right here. I don't know what you would call this thing. Hold up. How do I go to... Shit, man. I use paint job all the time. I don't know how to work this thing. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We go back here. It's in... Uh, go to patterns. And it's camel stamp. There we go. That's right there. I mean, you can you can try other stuff if you like, but that's the one I used, and that's pretty much the camel there. So, um, I don't know if you guys like my other camels. Let me show you guys before I end the video. 
Um, the other combination that I used on stream was this one. I don't know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that. Um, also, I did a uh, dark matter with haptic. That's another combination right there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, for the people asking, this is for you guys. Uh, always coming out of my stream just asking for this video. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like and subscribe and share. And also send me screenshots of you making this camel with red hex and everything on Twitter. And yeah, I just want to see what you guys can do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.